That brings the partners. I'll say it again in this video, I say it almost all the time. Every single partner I've ever got in my business has come from YouTube. They watch me on YouTube. Matt, whoa, your videos look sick. You know what you're doing? I'm gonna partner with you. Straight up, that's how I get all my partners, every single one of them. My name is Matt Pichet, AKA The Fruitful Investor. I grew up in a middle class family. All I've ever wanted was freedom. By the age of 30, I became a self-made multi-millionaire, all from real estate investing. Follow me on my journey to travel the world when I want, where I want, while continuing to build a killer real estate business. Let's get it. What's up, Fruitful Investors? In this video, I wanna talk about real estate investing expectation versus reality. You've seen all those funny memes. Let's do a meme in this video. Number one. The biggest expectation, I can retire in two years, AKA the FIRE movement. Dude, I love the FIRE movement. I'm kind of part of that community without even knowing it, <laughs> but there's some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. And the reality is, it's very unlikely that, I can't even spell unlikely. It's not very unlikely that you're gonna retire in just two years of investing in real estate or less. I know some people that are like, I retired in like three months. If you did that, if you retired in less than two years, not all the time, but you probably did it in the wrong way, meaning you bought really cheap, which to me means crappy properties, which are gonna bite you in the ass maybe later, or you're not really building an actual business. You're not building an actual business. You're taking the easy way. You bought two or three properties, and maybe you're living in the house and you're renting out all the other rooms. That's cool if you're like 21, 22, but like if you're like 28, 29, 30, 31, you got a wife, maybe you got kids, living in a house and renting out all your bedrooms is not pretty cool, but I'm retired, man. Like I live on like 2,000 a month. That's all I need and I'm retired at age 23. Dude, that's not cool, not for me. <laughs> I'm sure you want more out of life than that. I know I do. I don't wanna be eating alphagetti out of a can or like Michelinas and stuff. I don't wanna get like sued by them, but like, that's not the life for me. And I know for most of you, you want more than that. You want to live the baller life in a sense. And for me, like, like for me personally, I don't even want to live like a crazy private jet life. You know, I'm, <laughs> I got properties all over the world. It's not even about that. It's just living better than average, which by the way, guys, average is like down here. Average is so easy. Like I want to be up here, but like, it doesn't have to be like celebrity status or like, you know, crazy, but definitely more than Alpha Getty out of a can. And, but the biggest thing for me is that you're not building a business. You're taking, you're taking the easy way out. You're focusing only on cheap properties, cheap real estate. The properties must cash flow $1,000 a month, et cetera, which means, like I said, you're probably buying in shitty areas in order to get that kind of cash flow on one or two properties, which will bite you in the ass later come recession time because you probably didn't buy in an area that had good fundamentals, i.e. job growth, population growth, rental demand, etc. A lot of those areas don't have that. So right now in the boom phase, 2018, 2019, 2020, when I made this video, we're kind of in the COVID thing. So, but again, we're still in the boom phase. Like that ain't doing nothing to most areas in real estate. Don't get me started on that. We're in the boom phase. Basically, everybody looks like a goddamn genius no matter where you buy or what properties you buy. When the next real recession comes, okay, a lot of those people are gonna be caught with their pants down because they bought in bad areas and they're, they're gonna have to come out of retirement and they didn't build a business, they didn't build systems, they didn't build anything. They just took the easy way out. So while I love fire, yes, I love it, man, I love it. Can you retire in two years? You know, realistically, yes, it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. But for most people, what I'm just saying is I want you guys to build a business. I want you guys to be buying based on fundamentals. That is the reality. And real estate is a long-term game. Like it really, really is. Like it's gonna take at least for most people, at least five to seven years of grinding, 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 working 12 hours a day to really build a business that will set you up for the rest of your life. Are you willing to work five to seven years pretty hard? It's not even that hard, dude, trust me. But pretty hard, harder than the average person, which again, average is down here. <laughs> but again, five, seven years for the rest of your life to live like, like a king or queen, you can do it, I know you can, I believe in you. The next <laughs> meme or lie, number two, real estate is passive. Lie. <laughs> like I said, reality is it's gonna take a lot of work, especially at first. When you're building your business, which again, building a business, I want you guys to do that. I want you to build the systems, build the team, find the 
investment specialized realtor, mortgage broker, your lawyer. Eventually, because you're buying so many properties, you're, you're hiring a project manager to manage all those things to make the business a little more passive. But at first, is it really passive? No, not really, not when you're building. And why? Again, we have tenants and who are they? Human beings. What are human beings? Dumb. <laughs> We're dumb. A lot of things happen. We're human beings. Things come up in our personal lives. Maybe they lose a job. Maybe they can't pay rent that month. That month, maybe they're just psycho, which is like a lot of tenants. You're dealing with human beings basically. Things are gonna go wrong. Things are gonna come up. They're gonna need things from you or they're not gonna pay rent. Passive, not really. But Matt, I have a property manager. Like it's pretty passive. Sure, when they don't pay or when they break stuff, who does the property manager call? You. That's just the reality. You're gonna be dealing with that. If you wanna be a real estate investor, buckle up because you're in for a long ride and you're building a real business. Can it be passive? Eventually, yes. When you start selling things off, maybe you start private lending like where I'm at right now in my career. I'm about 10, 11 years of doing this, grinding. Five to seven years, get out of here. I'm at year 11 right now of grinding, but I love it. But at my point in my career, now I'm starting to sell off properties and private lend to flippers that I know, which is truly passive. No tenants, no toilets, no properties. That's what I'm talking about. That's when it gets passive. But in order to get to that point where you can have a high net worth and start selling properties off, okay, it ain't very passive. Next up, your property is a physical asset, which means things can go wrong. We can touch it, it's gonna break down. It's real, it's real. The ceiling's gonna have problems, the toilet eventually is gonna go, the, the tap on the sink eventually is gonna go, there will be repairs. Again, oh Matt, I have a property manager, they deal with all that. Cool, I know, me too. But who do they call when the repair comes? Who they, or at least email, Matt, I gotta, I gotta email you because the tap broke, the tenant wants this, the screens broke. I got an email today about like screens bro. It's like 230 bucks to fix two screens. I was like, fuck no. Not right now, that's too expensive. Anyway, but things come up, things happen. So if the property's physical, it's gonna break, they're gonna be contacting you, things are gonna go wrong. Reality for me, while you're building this business, it's gonna be at least 20 hours a week. If you really wanna do this, guys, like at first, 20 hours a week, probably 40 hours a week or more. Like I'm a full-time real estate investor. I'm easily clocking in at 60 to 80 hours a week. But I love it, I love it. It doesn't feel like work. But still, I'm still working, dude, I'm still working. I'm chilling in Hawaii, I'm, I'm, email, I'm doing emails in the mornings, but I love that lifestyle, I love it. Well, I'm in Hawaii though, like 10 a.m., I'm like, we're out of here, no more work. But I'm, I'm a workaholic, for sure. That, that, that's the reality. But if you, if you wanna build the real business, this is the reality. It ain't so passive. Not that I've seen, not that I've seen. Meme number three. You need a lot of mucho dineros. Is that right? Muchos dineros? I don't know. Muchos. You need a lot of money. Potentially. At first, you need some money. And what I mean by that is that you need to buy at least your first one or two properties. That's what I want you guys to do. Buy at least your first two so that you can start building your resume, you can start building your brand, because to get a JV partner, which I'm gonna get to soon, get a money partner, you're likely not gonna get one on your first deal or two. Why? You're not proven, who are you? Nobody knows who you are, you, you haven't done anything yet. Nobody knows that you're a safe investment or a safe bet to invest with. That takes a couple properties. So at first, you might need to save up all your, all your pennies, all your beans, and then go buy your first property or two, film it, what I always say, right? Do the social media, bring the camera in, do the before and after, that brings the partners. I'll say it again in this video, I say it almost all the time. Every single partner I've ever got in my business has come from YouTube. They watch me on YouTube. Matt, whoa, your videos look sick. You know what you're doing? I'm gonna partner with you. Straight up, that's how I get all my partners, every single one of them. So I want you guys to use that, buy your first property when you're a nobody, nobody knows who you are, or what you do, or what you buy in. Then you start doing the videos like this, then you start bringing the camera through your properties to show the before and afters. People start knowing, oh, I've heard of that person before. They buy and wear like Kitchener Waterloo. Yeah, I've seen them on YouTube. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, that's, we get the conversation going. So the money, yeah, you do need money at first. You ain't getting deals for zero dollars on your first couple deals. We'll get, we'll get there at some point. Then when you start improving your name, like I said, you start doing the branding, 
And so what I'm doing right now, which I can help you out guys, course below unlimited cash, I give you everything that I do on a daily basis of how I build my business and how I attract money partners. I give it all to you. How to build a website, how to do videos, what to say in those videos, how to do uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, everything, dude, everything is all in that course. So branding gets the money partners. Then we can start building a business. Then it can become passive going back to number two. So that's, that's the reality. It doesn't have to be your money, but at the beginning, it probably will be. That's the reality. Meme number four, it's easy just like HGTV. They make it look so easy, isn't it? It's not, it's like a 20 minute show. <laughs> it can be easier, like I said, if you build the system. I, I keep going back to this. If you build a business and you have systems in place and you have people hired to do things for you, property manager, project manager on the flips, like HGTV, because it looks so easy, it ain't easy. It can be easier if you have a project manager, if you have good contractors, all of those things take so much work. I could spend like six hours on this video explaining every person on the team that you need. That's a whole course. I gotta, I gotta do a course on it, which I am soon, a flipping course. It's not very easy, but in time, it becomes easier, okay? Like I said before, I work 10 to 12 hours a day, kind of minimum. That's what it takes. Does that sound easy? I can go work at a factory and work eight hours. That's easy. That's average. That's what everybody else does. I can go work at a grocery store. I can go work, be a postman. I don't know, making up jobs. I can be a plumber. I've done that. I can be a car I was a carpenter for years. It seemed hard at the time. Being a carpenter, by the way, was very hard at the time. This job sucks. It's backbreaking labor. I hate it. I want to be a real estate investor, man. That was easy compared to what I'm doing. <laughs> in terms of like hours put in, but again, this is my choice. This is my business, so it feels different. Like I said, I love it. It's different when you're building your business as opposed to working for dollars. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. It's not easy. It's hard. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's pretty much it. Reality is, like I said, I'm gonna wrap this up right here before this gets weird. It takes years, guys. It takes years. So have a long-term mindset. Like I said, at the beginning of this video, everybody thinks it's easy. They have a two-year mindset. Fire, bro. I can retire like two years. It takes way more time than that. Way more time. I don't know anybody really. I know a few people that did like the fire thing and they retired in like two years and they retired for like three months and then what happened? They came right back in the business, built a bigger business than they had before. Why? We're wired different. If you're watching this video, you're fucked up. Just like I am. Good, celebrate. You're wired differently than everybody else out there. You're wired to work. You're wired to succeed. You're wired to live a life that very few can. Anyway, I want to end this video on a positive, like uplifting note like that. Braveheart. I don't know, man. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you did smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button so we can see more of each other. I'll see you in the next video.